Tiki is a script used for writing the Santali language. Santali is spoken by Santal people, which is an indigenous tribe of India. Santals live in the states of Odisha, Bihar, Jharkhand, and West Bengal. On 5th May 1905, in a village called Danbus in Mayurbhans district of state Odisha, on a full moon night, Pandit Raghunath Murmu was born. When Pandit Murmu grew up and attended primary school, he would question his father why Santa language did not have a separate script like other languages. The questions persisted in his mind and formed a deep impression that Santali needs its own script for preserving its linguistic identity. During his travel, he spent a night in a forest where he carved the symbol of Bidu Chandan upon a stone and prayed to them. With the blessings of Bidu Chandan, the gods of knowledge, Guru Gomke created the script of Old Chiki. In the year 1925, Old Chiki was born. It had 30 letters, 24 consonants and 6 vowels. The script had one unique aspect. Many letters were simply mirror images of another. For example, Ed and Ob, Aj and Am, E and Is, I and Ur, N and Er, Ol and In, Au and Ui. The ingenuity of the script lies in the fact that all the letters of Ojiki have been derived from the physical environment and the shapes that the words represent. For example, the letter Ot, which is the word in Santa, meaning Earth, derives its shape from it. And the shape of the mouth while pronunciating the letter Om. Similarly, letter Ark will remind you of a bird or a swan. The shape of letter Ut is a word meaning the mushroom. The letter Ir, which means cutting paddy in Santali, derives its shape from a sickle. The reason why Guru Gomke chose this unique way of representation of letters is evident when we see the Santa way of life. The Santals have a deep connection with the nature. They offer their prayers in a sacred grove of sal trees, Sarjomdari, and the supreme deity is the great mountain, Marangpuru. They also worship the sun deity, Sing Bonga. Pandit Murmu contributed more than the script itself. He evoked in us a sense of belongingness to our community, to our culture. Guru Gomki laid out the foundation stone of Santali literature. He spent his entire life for propagation of Ojiki, for preservation of the Santal culture. He left us on 1st February 1982. But his lifetime effort and his epoch-making script has left indelible imprints on the Santali community and his legacy will remain forever.